everyone i hope everyone's having a great week my puppy and i are back with the what's in my bag video i am so excited for this video it is with my chanel classic flap jumbo i have never worn it before i know i just filmed a what's in my bag video where i switched all of my items to the louis vuitton Ponthieu. i am using that one still it's still my everyday bag but for the next two weekends i am attending some fancier events like weddings and some girls nights so i wanted to switch to another bag i have never worn my Chanel classic flap and I've never filmed a what's in my bag video and so this one's going to be a little different the items that I decided to use for this bag are gonna be just so extra for me so if you've seen my what's in my bag videos before I typically use a bunch of different items from all over the place I find a lot of cute accessories from Amazon or TJ Maxx Marshalls and pair them with luxury designer items but in this case I just wanted to go all out I wanted to be Hi, what is it? Oh, she's being so clingy right now. But basically, I just wanted to go. <laughs> okay, I know. I know. I usually film before she naps, hoping that she'll nap, but she actually just took a nap and is waking up right now. So hopefully, she doesn't get her little jolt of energy and get sudden zoomies and then slam into the. Oh. Look at her little, her little smirk. Can you, what is this? Okay, is this okay? You're still waking up. Anyway, sorry for the distraction. But I just wanted to do something really different this time. I felt fancy. I wanted to use all of my Chanel accessories with this Chanel Classic Flap because it is my dream bag. It's just sitting back here and I haven't brought it out because my puppy is in the way. And oh, okay. I think she knows when the purse comes out that it's going to be the center of the show because she literally just laid down and she knows it's harder for me to move her when she lays down so all right well I can put it in front of her this time let me do that okay but here is the excuse you don't even think about it if you bite this bag I will be very upset with you little lady <laughs> anyways so here it Okay, I'm just gonna, she's laying down. Anyway, so this is the Chanel Classic Flap in the jumbo size. It's in black caviar with gold detail. As you can see, I still have the sticker on here, but do I care? No, I'm gonna keep the sticker on. I mean, this is such an expensive bag and this was my dream bag. I don't care about leaving the sticker on there. If it's gonna protect the bag more, I'm gonna keep it on there. Oh. Okay, so she's moved a little bit. But she just gave up and realized I'll keep filming. So I got this recently. It's a 2022 bag. And the reason why I got it was just because I didn't want to wait any longer. The prices kept going up. I never got the bag because I kept wanting to get it in Europe or someplace less expensive. But after COVID and everything happening and the price is just increasing so much, I finally decided to get the bag. And I'm so glad that I did because they've had price increases since I've gotten the bag, which is insane to me. I was actually pretty happy about getting a later bag because they got rid of the authenticity card and started using a chip which I really like and that helps track the bag and authenticate it and it comes with a warranty for Chanel so I guess I really don't need this sticker it doesn't bother me so I'm gonna keep it on so let's get started with what's going in the bag hi she has this little goofy half asleep grin on right now so I'm going to take that as she's still waking up. Okay, so the first item that's in my bag is a bag insert. The inside is a really nice classic burgundy leather and I don't want to mess it up. So here's the inside. I currently have a bag insert. It's from a South Korean company called Zumani and their bag inserts actually are supposed to be for the bag you select. So if you go on their website you can select the exact bag if they have it that you want a bag insert for. So this is the one I selected. I oh hi! You want to test it? I selected this color because I wanted something as close to the interior of the Chanel. It has a main compartment and a few side compartments which come in handy. I just like how it has one big compartment here and it came with this extra little pouch with their name on it and their card but I'm not going to use that. So that's the bag insert and all you do is you open the bag and you place it in the middle here. And it fits very perfectly. My puppy meandered over here to lay in my lap, which is fine. You'll just see this giant fluff ball here in the corner. 
can see if I can get her to just lay comfortably down. I know you want to sit like this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Make it difficult for me. Anyways, the next item I'm going to put in my bag is new and I'm so excited for it. It is the Chanel Classic Flap Wallet. It matches this pretty much exactly. It's like a mini version. I really don't like to match my accessories with the bag itself. I don't know. For some reason, it's not as really. Okay. Anyways, really mochi, do you have to do that? Seriously? She is. <laughs> Why don't I just roll you over and give you tummy rubs? There you go. Here, you have tummy rubs right here. Okay, maybe that'll. That, okay. All right, so her foot's just gonna be in the air in front. All right, okay. <laughs> baby paws are so cute. <laughs> okay, anyways. So I, like I was saying, <laughs> like I was saying, I don't like, oh really? I can't stop laughing, I'm sorry. I shouldn't leave this in the video, but I think I will. Anyways, so like the 15th time I'm trying to say that I typically, if you've seen my what's in my bag videos, I do not like to match accessories and wallets with the brand of the purse. I try to keep things different. I mix it up. I don't know. I just don't really like really matchy matchy stuff. It's just not my thing, but I wanted to be super fancy and extra and bougie. So I decided to pair my Chanel Classic Flap wallet that I recently got with this Chanel classic flap and I absolutely love it and I can't believe I'm filming this with my puppy's foot just like hanging out in front and she hasn't moved like she's being so stubborn right now um one second let me just okay come on, come on. okay okay all right sit right okay there she goes all right, so she, she's pouting back there. But anyways, that's the wallet I'm gonna use. I still also have the sticker on this wallet, so they are definitely identical. How fun is that? So they have identical stickers too. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this inside. Oh, and this also has gold detail. I do have an unboxing video for this wallet. Basically, the interior is also the same as the interior of this purse. So I'm just gonna place it there and there's plenty of space oh one thing I forgot to mention though bag inserts do take up so much space they really do I mean it's just a downside of bag inserts you can fit a lot more if you don't use a bag insert but I'm just not willing to risk damaging the inside of this bag so bag insert it is and I'll just have to include less stuff so the next item is also Chanel again another matchy matchy item we're just gonna have a Chanel theme I also got these they're new I'd have another unboxing video that I'll also link below look at this quilting it's almost identical except this isn't caviar I don't think this is even real leather I just got these Chanel sunglasses Chanel sunglasses have gotten so expensive I never realized how expensive they've gotten I had a gift card to Neiman Marcus and they happened to have the ones I wanted these are polarized I got these classic Chanel sunglasses nothing super exciting about them but they have the double C's in the back this is in silver I just wanted some classic Chanel that didn't have anything too crazy or fancy going on the sides I finally located these. I don't remember the price of these exactly. I think they were $4.50. I'll find them. But you know what? I'm just going to be one of those people rocking Chanel sunglasses with my Chanel purse and Chanel wallet for the next two weeks and I might get used to it. Actually, no, I probably will not. <laughs> I just like too many fun, cute things too much to permanently go with matching designer accessories. Because the space is so limited, I'm going to put this inside backwards, I guess upside down. That way there's more space for the other items and the wallet. So it kind of falls a little bit easier. The wallet can sit up top a little bit instead of being squished down below. I haven't heard a peep out of my puppy. She's still sleeping there. I wonder why she's sleeping so much. Oh, it's because she woke me up like 15 times last night and didn't sleep very well and neither did I. So yes, now I remember that. Let's just get all the Chanel items out of the way. I also got this from the Chanel website. It's pretty awesome because if you order from the Chanel website, it comes really beautifully packaged, perfect gift idea, and it came with free samples with a little Chanel pouch. This is a Chanel compact mirror. 
it was around $42, 3 I'm not sure if the price has changed. I'll also find it. But it's just such a cute, classic, compact mirror. I actually do carry this in all of my other bags because it's just so simplistic. Nothing special about it. Just a regular, compact mirror and very easy to use, very lightweight. And it's just one of those things that you're just happy to take out of your purse and use or see it in your purse. And so the price to me was a little bit high, but I think it's justifiable because people don't really replace compact mirrors unless they break and shatter and they can last a pretty long time. This is a great item to have in your purse and also give as a gift. But order from their website if you want it all specially gift wrapped with free samples and I didn't pay any additional for that. And I probably put this one back here in one of these pouches. How cute is that? Okay, last Chanel item that I'm gonna put in my purse that I actually just put in all my purses is this Chanel roll-on perfume, Chanel Chance. And I really like it because it's a roll-on applicator, so it's way less messy, just really cute. You never know when you need perfume, and it's always nice to just have this in your purse. I definitely got this from another set of free samples, and I've always just carried it in my purse. That's what I love about free gifts when it comes to beauty purchases because a lot of them do come with perfume. I love buying items from Ulta. I'm putting this back here by the way in one of these other pouches. I love getting free samples and those gift bags from Ulta when you buy a certain amount. They'll give you like a 20 or 30 piece free gift and a lot of times it comes with really nice perfume that I like to just carry with me when I travel and put them in my purses. More tummy scratches. She has a really cute spotted belly too. You you don't like me showing your belly? More tummy scratches. Okay that's enough tummy scratches. I need to keep filming. I know. Reach for the stars. Okay, come on, baby. And we're doing this again. Hello. Okay, I know. You come back here. Thank you. Thank you. Look at her little face. I know. I'm so rude. I know. I'm so rude. I'm almost done, I promise. I'm almost done, I promise. Now we can go play. Yeah, I'll take you on a car ride. Okay, so done with Chanel items. Next item is also something that I keep in my purse at all times, but it's Louis Vuitton. It is my key ring holder. I love this thing. I use it in all my purses. I just keep my keys here, the little clover charm that I have, and I just transfer it from purse to purse. That's gonna go probably right behind my wallet, right there, so everything's fitting really well. So this is a really good purse for an everyday bag. I think it fits it's a lot of stuff. It's really nice. But for me, I tend to like to fit more items in my everyday bags. If you've seen my what's in my bags. And it's just such a nice bag. I'll probably reserve it for more special occasions. I just don't see this as an everyday running errands, going to the gas station and grocery store bag for me. Next item is my key fob. And I got this key fob holder from Amazon. I love it. I think it's so fancy, so bougie. It's white and gold. And they have a lot of different versions for different cars. But I found the one for my car. Absolutely love this thing. One of my favorite purchases actually. I just think it looks so fancy and I like that it has this little mini lanyard for it so it's easier to carry around. And I feel like it does protect the key fob a bit. Again I found this on Amazon and I will put the link below. And I'm going to go ahead and put this key fob right here in front. Everything's fitting together so well. Hi did you wake up? Hello? I know. I know. Okay you're falling back asleep. All right. Go back to sleep, little one. Okay, so the next item is also from Amazon. And I recently got this. It comes in a lot of different colors. It's my hand sanitizer. So these are refillable bottles and they come with pink, red, purple, a bunch of different colors. I think in a pack of six, you just fill it with your favorite hand sanitizer and it's a spray, so you just spray it and it's a really nice mist. I really like that it's really lightweight and convenient and I don't know it's just a really cute little bottle. I think hand sanitizer is a necessity to have with me at all times especially in this day and age so I'm carrying this with me. I just think it's so cute. Here it is. It's in one of the front compartments. And the last two items are by Dior. I decided to go fancy again. I have a Dior lip glow and a Dior eyebrow pencil. So I typically don't like to wear makeup, but eyebrow makeup is just one of my everyday makeup items. I have really light brows. I typically use Benefit, but I got this from Neiman's and I do like it a lot, but I don't use it every day. But you know what? For the Chanel handbag, I 
I decided to use this Dior pencil. It has two things. On one end is a kabuki brush. How cute is that? That seems so fancy to me. I actually don't use a lot of fancy designer makeup, so this stuff is just so amusing for me. Here is the brow side. I've never used this one before. I have two of them. This is the brand new one. Maybe I should have bought in the other one that I've used before, but oh well. I may not even use it because this is a just-in-case item in my purse. All of my makeup items in my purses are usually just-in-case items because I'll usually put on my makeup before I leave for the event, but this is just in case I need to film in my brows later. I'm just going to stick this in here and it fits perfectly fine. And my puppy just knocked my purse over because she senses danger. But here is the last... Hi! But here is the last item. It is the Dior Lip Glow. It's a lip oil. It's super fancy, super luxurious. I actually do like carrying this in my bags. I haven't been carrying it lately because I've been so amused with other lip products. But this is just something that belongs in a designer bag. She just went off to go look out the window and spy on the car that just drove by or bark at the three leaves that just fell off a tree. Anyways, that's the last item. And I'm just going to put that right here in the last remaining space. It's right there. That's what goes in the main compartment of my handbag. And of course, last but not least is my cell phone, but I usually just stick my cell phone back here. I'm actually pretty excited because I got this new case. I love these cases. They're full protection. They have a part in the front and a part in the back, so I don't have to buy a glass sticker to stick on or anything. It just protects the entire phone, and I've dropped my phone so many times, so I'm fine with the bulkier phone. But I'll usually just stick the phone back here or have it with me in my hand. It also will fit in the front. Oh, and here's a clip of me wearing the bag so you can see how it looks like on my frame. So just for reference, I am about 5'1 in height, and this is how it looks like as a shoulder bag on my frame. Just as a reminder, this is the Chanel Classic Flap in the jumbo size, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to move the chains around. They are so smooth, but they are pretty loud, as you can hear in this next clip. I'm actually pretty surprised that my puppy didn't run up and bark at me as I was doing this. I definitely got carried away moving them around because they're so smooth. But anyways, this is how it looks like as a crossbody bag on my frame. I probably won't wear it as a crossbody bag. I don't really like the look of it and it's not as comfortable. But if I really want to, I can wear it as a crossbody bag. I just don't really think wearing it as a crossbody bag suits my height very well. So I'll likely just wear it as a shoulder bag or holding it like this minus the wiggling around. But I just love how this bag looks. Like I said, this has always been my dream bag. Oh, and this is one of the dresses I'm planning on wearing with this bag. It is seriously my favorite dress. I have this dress in so many different colors, and I just got this hot pink one. I love this dress. It is so stretchy, so comfortable. I'll link the dress in the description box below, as well as another video I have showing the other colors that I've bought in this dress. But anyways, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please consider subscribing. I make videos once a week about luxury and lifestyle. Thank you so much and have a wonderful week. Bye.